Nasik. Uh, and um, yeah, so that is that covers around 24 states and um, I think 90 plus cities across India. And we are there global also. And so we'll discuss during the course of the uh, webinar about all those details. I just wanted to tell you this because uh, the host was saying it is 125. That is, it is a past history. Now we are in 157. So yeah, so let's get into the mode of it. Uh, before we get into my upsake, uh, uh, a case study batana When we buy a new vehicle, we have a new car, what is the warranty of our warranty? We have a book of the service of the coupon book. So, we have a new car, 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 we have 5,000 kilometers, yeah, 2,000 kilometers, whatever the mileage is, we take that and move ahead. Is it not? So, coupon service karwa de te hai. Phir ek saal ke baad kya hota hai? The first one year, after the first one year, uh, your coupons are exhausted. So, uske baad na kya hota hai na? To, either going back to the brand, you have your own apprehension, sahi samay per de sakte ya nahi, ya unka paas time rahega ya nahi, wo dekhna chahi hai. Or, uh, the costing of the spares and all those things are also little above the head and then uh, the only option we are left is with uh, going to the street side local mechanic wala wahan to wo jagah acha nahi rehta ek dingy place jeta rehta hai like you know ladies cannot go there and it's a one man operated show no hygiene is being maintained especially during this covid days abhi is pandemic mein to kahi uh, strange jagah pe jana to mana hai na it is not practically possible so now, what happens from the first one year, it was all regularly serviced vehicle. From there, we have moved on to need-based repair. So, when need came, you can think about it. When you changed oil, changed the kilometer, or just because the engine was not giving correct sound. So it is normally it is because the engine is not giving correct sound. Because we have not got it periodically repaired. And then the tire. These things, what happens is, it increases the breakdown. Uh, breakdown level. So the breakdowns start increasing. Erratic breakdowns. You don't know what you're doing. Suddenly, one day, you're going to be a problem. And a problem can come. So this is a big issue. And then, of course, uh, what happens is, uh, you know, the vehicles are, models are coming uh, day in, day out. Every uh, month, we have got a new model being released. All the uh, 12 manufacturers are releasing different models. So we need to go in for a, we need to sell it and go in for a new vehicle. So this, during the sale, there is an undervalue also. So what you have spent and what is you're getting back, there's a lot of disparity in it and you feel dejected, but since the new vehicle is coming, you're overwhelmed. So this is the case study and this is the problem statement on which Speedforce has been working on. So that's how the whole uh, journey has started. And this is the problem statement that we thought to address. Now let's see uh, what is the, what is there in store for us today. So overview of the two wheeler industry, introduction, what is speed force, how it works, market potential, way forward, and other networking issues. Okay, so let's uh, see how we are going to. So. Uh, when you get into any industry, it is the most important to understand how potential, how sustainable the uh, business will be, is it not? So that's how we were assessing the uh, whole situation. Uh, there is a, uh, This is one industry which has posted a growth of the minimum growth of around 12% and it has gone up to around 17 to 18% in the last since independence. We have been indigenizing our own equipment, we have been having our own brands. Uh, we were in collaboration and then the collaboration also got split. Uh, they, they started individually operating, but still there's a lot, lots, lots of two wheelers that have been sold because we are basically uh, a, um, a country which depends more on two wheelers. Even 80, 85 to 87% of our uh, population depends on two wheelers. Uh, that's a um, commutation net thing. So there is 12% uh, growth achieved year on year since the last six years. Is, as I told you, there's a large gap between the sales and the service capacity of two-wheeler industry. There is an interesting uh, issue that I would like to tell you. As per the industry standards, uh, every brand, any brand, any brand for that matter, 
is not even able to serve 20% of vehicles post warranty you know what happens every brand sells year on year month on month they sell new vehicles you know it gets accumulated so the second year even 20% of the vehicles sold in the first year are not been able to service and as the years proceed second year third year fourth year it, it goes to somewhere 18 16 and 0% so where is the market there is a big market na there is 80% of vehicles in the first uh, second year that are that need service that's a big market huge market now let's look so manufacturer service focus is largely on warranty service yeah they are into new vehicle sale the manufacturers the brands and uh, they are more concentrated on the warranty sale because warranty sale has to be done by them because they are giving warranty and in case of any replacements or chase fair changes they will do it free of cost so the service has to be done by them uh, other than manufacturer small garages provide a service yeah as i told you yes small garages they don't uh, they can um, i mean in the sense they really can't uh, match the quality um, there is uh, on an average you know the technology has been changing especially from 2017 the technology has been changing to a very rapid extent and most of the companies that are coming with their own bikes uh they have got a variety of technology that that you know the low the mechanic uh, there is a pro- lack of professional approach in this thing you, you might not be abridged also so this is a, there is this is an apprehension in our mindset so and it's a one man show as i told you so all these things have added for us uh, to see that from shifting our focus from uh, regular repair to need based yes let's look at the uh, market average which is around 9 crore vehicles since they have sold the last 6 years uh, which i would say, from, say up to 2019 because 2020 you know it was a pandemic issue and a lot of things happened uh, 9 crore vehicles till 2019 that means around 36 crore uh, services are due uh, considering at least four services uh, considering a vehicle moving at about 2000 kilometers at least three months which is very you know you are going at a very rapid pace and every 2000 kilometers you need an oil change so that needs a service so if we consider four uh, every three months one service four services would reach go to 36 crores 36 crores service at an average imagine there is 17000 plus indian rupees involved in the whole setup so vast 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 potential and uh, very few people are there in multi brand uh, service and yeah multi brand service backed by a strong team that is uh, that has got an r in house r and d facility and is value adding on a day to day basis i don't think there is another in company in india than other than speed was yeah so there is a lot of economy transformation also a lot of education uh, quotient of the average user has gone up and uh, transformation has raised customer expectation as i told you uh pre covid people were uh, going to their uh, going to their workshop going to the mechanic shed sitting there and getting their vehicle done but today uh, they are really not in a position to go there because it's a strange place they don't want to get affected by the pandemic so they, it is more of a um, more of a i mean the service part is neglected this is where we can tell you very very boldly that we have been proactive uh, it was uh, we would be we are proud to tell you that we are india's first uh bike sanitized company so we sanitize the bike we uh, in before pre covid also we offered pick up and drop facility which was then a luxury now it has become a necessity so when people are calling us up we have developed an app mobile app for your uh, for the customers to call to just fix up an appointment all these see we have we have involved uh, technology and in, uh, information technology and human uh, technology all three we have abridged made a made a uh, package and created speed force so what is the expectation of the customer state of art the latest workshops yes uh, neat clean nice looking uh, and pollution free workshops competent courteous staff seen all over and of course top end bikes yes top end bikes that is the biggest thing a lot of things are happening uh, customers expectation more open to latest technology today as i told you the education quotient has gone up so the, the and google thanks to google anything you wanted any information you want is there on google so everybody know what is the technology that so it's more open to everybody so they want they are expecting the best for their vehicle because two two wheeler is a very integral part of our life 
and looking for quick response we have no time to wait we need emergency repair the turnaround time must be immediate even for breakdowns uh, speed force assures through for roadside assistance maximum 20 minute uh, minimum is 20 minutes and maximum is around uh, 60 to 70 minutes because depending on the distance from the nearest workshop so there is no question of waiting at all the waiting time is zero because we have we have streamlined our operations in such a way both on the it front and the technology front and the human centric brand that uh, the it is instantaneous and uh, transparency in all aspects yes this is very very important because uh, transparency does play a very uh, valuable thing out here and you know you got to, uh, to the as i said the customer has got uh, knowledge about the technology so unless you are transparent what is the oil change that you are doing what is the spares that you are doing what are the old spares why you need to uh, why you need to change uh where it will be a problem all these things the customer knows and if you are able to uh, give him the knowledge on that then there is a sort of a um belief system that happens and the belief system converts into loyalty uh once there is the customer is delighted with the information given by you so it's all a series of process and for that we have created an sop also so now yes so what is the market demand as of now let's understand you need a service with a difference a customized service as per the mindset of the customer a customized service as per the mindset of the customer because it the uh, the whole process involves a lot of human centric activity you need to understand the customer thought process you need to behave as per the customer requirement so all these things play a very vital role and of course the, your place has to be impeccably clean high tech tools train people uh, out of the world value added services and transparency in what you do service at doorstep pick up and drop all these things play a real vital role in your uh, day to day activity is it not yeah so what is speed force a company uh, how the speed force company is got different uh, skill sets working experience so i think at this stage i need to say something about the management uh, the management because you know uh, unless you understand the management you you will not understand what are the efforts that have been put into this business proposal and uh, to see that the franchise is being sustainable um, the i will give you an outlay but the details will be a perfect a micro level or micro level details will be given to you once you are interested in the franchise the outlay is uh we have got uh, we are into after sales service yes we are into after sales service and we are into multi brand after sales service it's not one vehicle but from moped to your super bike everything can be done at your nearest peak post outlet networking yes networking because we we bring cross border uh, entrepreneurship skills because we are there across india and that brings a lot of value addition to the entire setup and of course sales and marketing we have got dedicated team branding yes accounts and finances now i'll tell you a small uh, story about uh, speed post uh, see the management the management has got around four people who are there exclusively in the automobile industry uh, with their experiences ranging from 30 to 40 years in just automobile industry we have uh, our mentor mr uh, mohan vaidya sir and we have our cto mr ashok sir we have our uh, directors uh, mr rangarajan sir mr kohli sir um, and uh, we have got uh, paul sir so these people are all basically from automobile industry with uh, roughly about 30 to 40 years of experience and they have worked with very at various levels like uh, ashok sir was totally uh, he takes the guy uh, the cto so he takes care of the entire technology department and uh, vaidya sir is basically into uh, he is into training so he gives you the entire outlay about what's the technology that's happening what is the technology that's got come to tell you a matter of fact uh, we are expecting to uh, by 2023 the market to be flooded with electrical vehicles though though the uh, there is already it has been started the market has already started but it's just trickling down drop by drop but 2023 most of the vehicles that two wheelers that we are uh, using could either be uh, retrofitted with uh, electrical engines electrical vehicle engines or uh, real electrical vehicles might drop in so 2023 is the dead point where most of the mechanics will lose their job because uh, they are into both uh, into the mechanical uh, part of it 
now there is an electrical part that's been come it's going to be very predominant so this we have already got uh, lessons that have been lined up for the electrical uh, things electrical vehicles how to go about because this is all been done in a phase wise manner we are all ready we would launch it as things happen right now we are coming up with a very typical scanner for bs6 and uh, other vehicles so all the vehicles can be scanned and uh, what is the defect can be adjusted without even touching the vehicle just by going through it so, so these things are all you know on a day to day basis there is value addition being done and these five people four or five people who are there on the top management on the technical side take care of the entire thing that is required then we have uh, four more people on the desk uh, we have mr kapil bindi who takes care of the entire uh, financial who takes care of the entire numbers he's a number man we call him and then we have uh, mr deepin barai deepin mr deepin barai is a scientist himself and an entrepreneur and a mentor to the startup uh, especially the automobile sector so he looks into value addition and new new things and then we have got uh, mr nerav but who takes care of the uh, global operations in the northern india he is basically uh, he's got his own expertise and then of course i am there with you so the varied people from different walks of life with their own experience and expertise baggage have brought in value addition to speed force and that is the success of speed force because we have been uh, we have been patient listeners and proactive people who have been bringing great changes to the franchise network yeah so what is speed force speed force is a chain of two wheeler stations providing all kind of services according to market demand this is a very very tricky question the first part of it was chain of two wheeler service station yes we are just not workshops so we are just not workshops what else can we do so what else does the two wheeler needs two wheeler needs repair it needs labor it needs service it needs space it needs oils it needs insurance it needs roadside assistance breakdown assistance insurance claims insurance settlement insurance repairs annual maintenance what not a foray of things for a two wheeler customer to get satisfied and we call speed force it is a one stop solution for all your two wheeler needs this not only increases our purview of things or our mystic power on the two wheeler owner who come walks into us but i think uh, by mistake those are mute uh, yeah so this not only brings in two wheeler owner to us nearer to us but also sees that there are multiple venues for the franchise to uh, earn so uh, we say we have around 18 ways of earning um, through speed force franchise which we will discuss during the franchise meet yeah why speed force uh, i don't think you must have many of you would have any doubts after so much explanation but still let's have a look at it there is a potential business yes large potential current channels have their own limitations improvement in technology demands market demand for new trends customer ready extra care employ employment entrepreneurship generation yes or during our success saga that we have been moving we are moving at a rapid pace creating entrepreneurs who in turn are giving employment to a minimum of 3 to 7 people for them there is a direct employment and there is indirect employment with lot of vendors lot of people involved so this is not only a business but you are also doing a service to the society you are giving good uh, you are giving the extended warranty for the vehicle uh, well being of vehicle you are giving life to a lot of people so there is a lot of satisfaction that goes into this job and for which speed force is really proud on our journey we have created almost 157 entrepreneurs and uh, we are we are looking for to create around 300 by december 30th and maybe 500 by this financial year ending that's a goal that uh, we uh, with all the help of uh, great people we will definitely be able to achieve and one of our main main vehicles that we move across india is our franchise apply i thank franchise apply sincerely for doing this for us so this this has been uh the, i just wanted to tell you this because you have to understand that what is a strong network that you're working with yeah how speed force works you know, franchise appointment the moment the franchise uh, gives us a call and says we would like to take it we give, give him the necessary outlay that's required and then they need to fill an application and uh, the once the application is filled we do the analytics 
we understand three basic things during the analytics one is the weather condition of that place second the brand that's moving out of the uh, moving in that place say it is honda activa that's going and a bajaj uh, or a hero whatever it is we try to understand what are the number of vehicles that are going through and then we what we do is we have the third aspect is what is the economic strata of that place so these things what happens the, they give you an outlay of how things are working in the sense uh, like what is the spare minimum spare that you need to maintain so what is enemy what is the number of what are that mean typical repairs that arise at that place because you know the vehicle and what would be the cost of your competitors say roadside garages or the brands how the costing be so we have analyzed these the analytics and we form a certain structure where we give you a rate card as per that place and we give we give you the number of spares that are required the spare list that is required and then we under we give we tell you what is the sustainability how long you take so normally the sustainability is between 6 to 8 months we say um, but people have achieved it earlier but let's not take that into consideration because that could be just about uh, 40 42% but in general it is 6 to 8 months you your uh, break even would come and from 18 months to 36 months earlier it was uh, we made it from 12 months to 24 months but due to the bad pandemic we expect a slow process to go on but from 18 months to 36 months your total recovery or investment will happen and that is a guarantee because you got a stipulated sop for everything followed thoroughly you will reap rich dividends yeah so how does speed force works on job training timely visits and audits technical support customer feedback cross learning so let's look at um, um, on job training what is on job training so on job training is so initially what happens when when you hire your team our team of technical heads they come down over there and they give training they have a three phase training out there once uh, one is what is the technology that is prevailing during this time in the sense what is the technology the present age technology that is uh, bs5 or bs6 is happening this is what is happening so what are the regular repairs we have already got what would be the regular repairs due to the weather conditions and all that so basic training would be given and we have an sop for every vehicle the vehicle comes into speed force outlet what first has to be done what has to be done second what has to be done third how it has to go about how long it should take so everything has been an sop that's been created and this would be delivered to your technical people because if i don't deliver that if my people don't deliver it what happens is the technical person takes his own sweet time sweet time and probably over two three vehicles they get tired or the whole day is occupied so we see that we give an a special sop to understand that they have to follow a process by following this process the stress is released and they will be do, able to rake in maximum potential so this has been given then we give a motivational training because from a street side uh, mechanic they have they have rise to a corporate employee status so how they need to behave what is the customer voice how they need to deal with all these things are being taught to them and third we give on job training because we are giving you multi brand two wheeler uh, tools and you are going to entertain multi brand two wheeler service station so suppose after if i don't give you training what happens 15 20 days later the entire workshop will be in a chaotic situation you don't know where which tool is so that we give an on job training minimum 2 to 3 days for the staff to understand where to place what this plays a very predominant role because somebody is coming in an urgency and if you are not able to find the plug spanner it is just about 150 rupees business but that business will see that the next time we will never come for any other thing so we take care that not to create a satisfaction customer satisfaction plays a very vital role in us because one of our director mr arangarajan we call him fondly as ara he takes care of the customer satisfaction and customer delight because he was dealing with customer satisfaction uh, for 40 years at different uh, locations at different uh, brands so that has been a big advantage for us so all these things would be to, uh, told to you as and when it's required and timely visits and audit yes we make three type of visits one is admin visit uh, admit audit that's been done every almost every month every 15 days initially and then every month little later and then we make it perfect because our crm is also taking taking care of the audits and then we have a technical team that comes to you once in three months or four months they make a journey and come down to your state with all the uh, covering all the outlets to talk to you about the latest technology to train your people and to conduct machinery audits and then we have marketing people marketing people will start their activity from fourth month of uh, your establishment because the first three months is almost a learning phase you try to understand what's the business 
how to manage the internal customers your team and how to manage the external customers the real customers so all these things well balanced you get into the group in the first 100 days and from 100 days the marketing will start all our activity are co creating activity you have invested something in us and we have invested 100 core brand in you so you are the face value of speed force we take it to the next level with co creation so everything is co created then we have technical support technical support is an intrinsic support that's been offered to uh, during the office hours you all your all the franchises are be equipped with wifi and cameras so any place where you are stuck up during repair maybe the regular repair is okay when you are doing some engine work you've been stuck up somewhere so where do you go to you just can't call us and ask for this instead what we do is we ask you to get across on a wifi mode uh, on a video call and our technical head will talk to you on a step by step and guide you on a step by step basis as to how to cure the problem and then uh, of course success is definite to be there because our technical heads it is their job to know about the entire technology and customer feedback this is a very 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 uh, important aspect for speed force because speed force is all years all years we listen to you and you need to listen to the customer and it has to be translated what you listen to the customer if you can implement it it's fine if you can't you have to get back to us so we are very young at heart old in age but very young in heart to understand what the customer needs and ready to mold our operations as per customer needs because the customer is the most important person on our agenda and then cross border learning yes we are there across india so cross border learning is going to be a very very integral part now let's look at uh, the support i think uh, we have done all these things yeah this is a bundled offer right now uh, right now we are charging around 7.5 lakhs plus gst which works out to around 8.85 lakhs and the bundled offer is we give you all the tools and equipment that are required the basic tools and equipment that are required to repair uh, any two wheeler as per your geolocation and then we do the branding the internal uh, branding the internal graphics and front page yeah. from kashmir to kanyakumari speed force is one wherever you go it looks alike the uh, lobby is the same the internal workshop is the same the washing area is the same everything have the graphics uh, which are just similar to each other so this makes a brand uh, we it makes more branding and it gives a lot of brand equity in the market also then the stationery stationery is one thing which i would like to very cleanly tell you that we have got state of art stationery when i say state of art stationery we have we have really uh, iterated moderated or uh, rather uh, um, worked a lot on the stationery so every point in the stationery or the job card or the invitation uh, the invoice books or uh, the job job register there are a lot of things that you might not find it in your regular uh, workshops because due to our experience the vast experience of our founders they have created a select set of things which will be which will always safeguard your interest and keep you clean so this is totally given by us then the marketing kit yes the initial marketing kit would be promotional material and leaflets and the fourth month once the marketing come they come with the canopy and the umbrella and the uh, standees and all those things and they start doing it so marketing is basically uh we organize we have a door to door campaign in the sense we work out on uh, select select uh, domain like medical shops one day like banks one day that is door to door campaign second we organize small small healthcare health camps along as i told you it's a co creation activity so your mechanic will be there and our marketing people also will be there and we will start doing it at some mall or somewhere where there will people gather so there we'll do a health camp where nothing no transaction it is a zero transaction health camp where they uh, their vehicle is assessed and the uh, uh, the problems are being set so for further curing they need to come to the workshop and if there is no problem we invite them also to the workshop on a day so that they understand they have a virtual uh, they have a tour workshop tour and understand the facilities that we have which automatically gives uh, rise to customership in the sense uh, they understand the facility then automatically they will log in some day and give it give a chance to you so that is one thing the marketing support hand holding marketing service training training is not one time affair it is a periodic affair and we take care of the training all through visits and audits yes regular visits and audits i think we have discussed about this so yeah so yes 2020 year uh, 
uh, a small interesting story which i would like to tell you about 2020 year 2020 on march 19th march 19 2020 if you all remember just go a little flashback to the memory you'll understand we had uh, on 22nd we had janata curfew called by our honorable uh, prime minister and then from 24th it was lockdown 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 so march 19 we opened our 45th outlet in hyderabad south india and uh, the last uh, i think 18 months uh, 18 months is it is it's around 15 months i suppose yeah in 15 months we are right now 157 open and still around uh, uh, 20 21 i think 21 on the agenda and on day to day basis this figure is getting uh, changed so you understand the company which was 45 it is now 150 that means there is 300 percent growth during the pandemic because there are some proactive services like bike sanitization pickup and drop facility and uh, transparency that has created a lot of business for us and uh, in turn a lot of franchises for us so this this has created this has done a wonderful thing and our sole objective when we opened up in 2020 uh, 20, uh, january 1st we were thinking by that year end we should hit 100 that was our aim and you know 2020 december 31st till 9 30 pm we were just 99 and at 10 o'clock 10 20 if i'm not wrong 10 20 pm we received a message and a transfer from karnataka and that was 100 brands 100 brands at 10 30 all of us celebrated 2020 target before 12 or 12 pm we crossed we reached the 100 that we were planning to. So that's how uh, we have been working and uh, God has been good to us. Uh, our sincere dedication had really paid off. So that was it. This was the 2020 card. Three offices to started today. We have six offices from seven men in the management right now. We are 11, I think. And uh, team members uh, right now, we are around, uh, I think around 150 plus team members, direct and indirect. 35 new outlets, you know, the outlets, yes, launched in 30 plus cities during 2020. Today, we are almost 75 cities, I think, and 16 states. Today, we are 24. Recognitions have gone too much. And new services, we have added around uh, 3 plus something. And now, we are 157, so the number is always changing. So, what is the company thinking of doing? So we were planning initially, I'll tell you at 2020 when we started, we thought we will uh, we will do Pan India, we will work out on Pan India basis, reach tier two, tier three cities. In fact, in, uh, in most of the um, states, we have also reached even the towns. Towns, believe me, we have reached towns like uh, uh, Churya Lange in uh, Karna, um, Orissa. We have reached uh, towns uh, like uh, Saundati in Karnataka, uh, Sela Omalu in uh, Tamil Nadu. So we have reached certain places where we never even imagined. So Pan India. And luckily for us, we got a very good inquiry from overseas. So we opened our first branch in Nepal. Then we realized that this industry needs us wherever there are two wheelers. So we decided. Now, Pan India, Pan Global, wherever there is maximum number of tools that have been going on, then we need to have a presence. So right now, we are opened in Nepal. Very soon, we are opening up in Sri Lanka, Philippines, Vietnam, and Bangladesh. And you never know. So that's the thing. Target metro and two-tier cities, no. Uh, the target was metro and two-tier cities, but uh, the kind courtesy of franchises have stretched our targets to three-tier and towns also. 300 plus out franchise outlets by 31st December. I think we are on the route. And Pan India presence, yes, Pan India presence. Yeah, we are right now 24 plus uh, 24 states. I think we need to, uh, have, we can boldly say that we have got a good, sizable Pan India presence. So our official partners, as I was telling you, how we are going to give genuine spares and genuine oil. So we are tied up with uh, India's leading auto component, wear and tear auto component manufacturer, Unominda. You know, and uh, one of world's largest oil companies, Castrol, for insurance, we are tied up with Renubuy. Our ERP partner is Matrix Software Solutions and uh, AMC Corporate Warranty. So we are tied up with a lot of people because these people believe the mission of our vision. 
and they have aligned with us. And uh, they're almost the prestigious names in the industry. So you can understand what market validation we received, which keeps us working harder and harder to keep up the expectation of our official partners. Yes, footprints, name a place where we are not there. So that's a big task, is it not? Yes, this is how our workshops are going to be. They're going to have um, the ramps, the sophisticated equipment, the power tools, the compressor, and the front face here you can see, which this itself is very attractive. And we always say that we don't want uh, the area in the commercial locality because commercial locality, you have uh, three problems. One is every vehicle that comes to a commercial place comes on a work. So they either come and then leave depending on their work. So they don't have time to spare for service. Second, parking is a big problem in commercial area. Third, the rents are very high. So we look for semi-commercial areas, which on look a lot of residential places. Because see, look at the third photo where uh, we have got uh, Tara Automobiles. The, uh, the entire thing is so attractive. None of our uh, showroom will have the front glass. They are all visible to the public. So this, we as we ascertain that any two-wheeler that passes that side, any two-wheeler that passes that side, that is the reason we say you need to uh, you need to be in the semi-commercial area that unlocks a lot of residential area. Any two-wheeler that passes that side will at least for two seconds have a look at uh, the front fascia and the work that's happening. And that is sure to bring in a lot of walk-in customers, at least for the first three months. Maybe after three, four, uh, during the fourth month, we will start our activity for more uh, customers. But the first three months, it brings, it ensures your sustenance. Yeah, that's the uh, one-stop solution I was telling you. So that's a spares where you get the genuine spares. This is how the battery charger and all, everything, everything, everything is the same out at all places. So um, yeah, this was something in the South when we launched, there's local newspaper, a lot of newspapers have come. You just type the name speed post uh, two wheelers. You'll understand in YouTube how many things have come up and uh, yeah. So these are certain uh, activity that we do. The top one, the top three is the uh, corporate social responsibility that we take care. Year on year basis, we conduct, uh, we are almost in tie up with the local police. And we during the traffic uh, week, we organize certain things like um, uh, free health checkups for the vehicles. And last year, because of pandemic, we distributed uh, masks and sanitizers and uh, we also conducted uh, for the college students school students especially uh, about uh, national road safety how road safety must be we conducted paintings and essay writings for them so that because if the younger generation understands how to maintain road safety then i think uh, there'll be a stage where india will have zero accidents and that's what we expect and down below you can understand it's a corporate event that's been happening we have been doing healthcare checkups at the corporate event. You can see our uh, standee also. So this is uh, with various corporate uh, parking lot. We do it. Uh, it is, of course, as I told you, it's a co-creation with the franchise. Yeah, this is again the same thing. Yes, uh, corporate uh, thing, our people, even our office. Our office, we have wonderful staff, to tell you a matter of fact. There is no difference between uh, a CEO and uh, uh, the front office red desk. Because all of us wear the same t-shirts and all of us maintain the same vision and mission in our brain. So we work as it is our own company. And that's the, that, that is the crux and the success of where we are today. India's largest international multi-brand two-wheeler service station. Yes. Yeah, this is some of the propaganda that uh, people have done, the franchises have done in the initial, well, during the inauguration. So all these things add value. So they create a brand equity position because the franchise is ultimately the face of the speed force because we are not known in that location. It is a franchise who's known and uh, they make a real good shout out during the launches. Yeah, this is uh, the North Indian uh, media, the Gujarati, the Hindi media that had covered us. You can find the four photos 
of our mentor mr vaidya mohan ji and then our cto mr ashok shah mr ceo mr deepan barai cfo mr kapil bindi and of course these are all certificates uh, awards that we have received uh, yes these three awards were received as milestones to us uh, but the awards have have their own impact on us because we need to be more responsible because there is a third party that is watching on us yes the, we were judged judged just the best small business in the automobile segment uh, by the uh, bsc we received the 2020 award with all your support i think we'll receive the 2021 also talks are going on because we have been fast establishing with 300% growth since that award was awarded to us so india's only international band speed post this is a make in india initiative following on the footsteps of what our government wants and we have been doing really good service another set of awards we are just just the best company uh, during the indian business awards and then dtf world and yeah so the investment break up uh, this is this is just a break up for you to understand the 1 lakh uh, the franchise fee 3.5 for the tools and equipment 1 lakh for internal supervision stationery software training auditing and monitoring marketing support 1 lakh total is 7.5 lakhs plus gst which works out around 8.85 lakhs and stationery and training uh, training is of course we there is value addition in the training that's happening and it's a continuous process auditing is continuous process software software is not a one time affair because uh, two things you need to understand software uh, is initially we started as a web platform then we made it a mobile platform and probably soon we're going to come up with a progressive web application also and things are going we are trying to integrate artificial intelligence iot and cloud platform into it so this totally is been done by us and the integration is been done at our end uh the software is given as a bundled offer along with the initial um, uh, investment initial uh, services that have been offered so all these things take care of a continuous flow because we understand our brand equity depends on the sustenance and the growth of our franchise so the franchise is the most important person on in our family so unless they survive they become sustainable our brand equity or our growth cannot be judged and less workshop revenue let's look at uh, how the revenue moves the number of vehicles this is just a very rough estimate that's been given but uh, getting all these things yes uh, as per the industry standards 1000 rupees is the minimum average bill they say mab is 1000 rupees of which they divide into two three buckets that is 40 20 40 40% 40 towards sales uh, the service and repair and labor and 20% towards oil change and 40% goes towards space on an average what happens is you make that 40% that is towards labor and services yours and in the balance 60% approximately you get commissions uh, discounts to the tune of 10% to 50% even if you think 30% at a mean average you make around 600 rupees fairly on 1000 rupees billing so based on that you can understand just for sustenance it's all good you need three people to operate on a 500 sft place which is semi commercial on making a lot of residences three people first person must be two years or two and a half years experience mechanic who will be taught about how to handle bikes the second person should be around one and a half year experience if he can understand the foray of the vehicle and he will be taught about scooters the third person is basically a helper come washing guy so if these three people and you sitting there i'm sure you can you can cut the cost and see that you reach the sustainability level as early as possible so yeah let's look at that that's about uh, as i told you the service say around 90000 rupees a month and you change 20000 spares around 36000 extra labor about 15000 so when a person comes for uh, say what happens when a person when a vehicle is coming to your workshop first of all you earn on the service this is it not you charge for the service second you charge for the labor in case there is a spark plug third you charge for the spare or the lube that you been put fourth you even get money for the thrown away replaced waste material 
the waste spare or waste uh, uh, oil you get your money so all these things see that you are a workshop becomes sustainable and we create vendorship for all these things okay so taking that into consideration it's about 182000 is the direct income and uh, you make around uh, say mm, yeah so 45000 and 60000 is uh, scrap annually uh, that is around the rent the salaries the maintenance the taxes i think uh, guys have quoted on the higher side but still it's better it's to be on the higher side because that gives you a fairly a leverage into what you need to do it and uh, yeah so minusing the direct income indirect income and the expense you take home a minimum of 70000 rupees i think this stage you should reach around 6 to 8 months where you'll definitely cross this but let's consider this as a benchmark and our uh, uh, following the sops that we have offered and the strategies that we are going to tell you you're sure to reach this place many have reached now it's your turn so let's compare i think uh, yeah you are right now on the franchise apply webinar so a lot of other segments also would have come up we have the retail the fnb so the investment required for the other two are moderate and high but whereas for uh, speed force multi brand two wheelers it is only it's low because and is a one time investment stock and inventory very high low from our side because we are in tie up with uh, oems original equipment manufacturers and uh, the castrol car the loops also so there you need not buy in bulk as it is required you can buy it and you can maintain um sufficient quantity as per our guidelines we have a uh, three bucket formula which would be explained to you during the franchise training we are basically a gujarati company and we look for low investment high returns you know that so this is the so i think the host has again uh, muted me anyway i have unmuted it so this is the crux of our operation which has made us very successful the overhead experience expenses is uh, here the biggest thing is the overhead expenses are fixed the more the turnover what happens is the overhead ex expenses are evenly divided and your profit ratio starts increasing so that's one thing and seasonal fx yes uh, summer season you have good business winter season you have better business and rainy season you have best business so that means 247 365 6, 5 days is your business area and consumer need yes daily someone or the other will be thinking of you somewhere in your vicinity profitability yes i told you what is the types of income so automatically you're going to be high yes let's go into the process of franchise appointment uh, i told you initial application and dd for 1 lakh plus gst 18000 1 lakh 18000 dd or nft dds are gone these days most of them are doing wire transfers so nft is the best option you get your letter of intent search for the location get the approval uh, after you uh, you get the letter of intent there is a welcome call that's been conducted from our office where all the departments the branding department the uh, admin department uh, the uh, tools department all of us we come to you uh, we come together and talk to you and make a schedule of what is to be done in the next 22 days or 25 days or one month depending on your opening what is to be done from our side what you need to do how the payments need to be dispersed all these things are tabulated into a table and is been passed on to you we maintain the table standards and we expect you also to maintain for a smooth flow of uh, for the smooth flow of inauguration and functioning and then basic site work vendor payments final payment uh, the final payments have to reach us between before at least 10 days before opening so that all the other arrangements are done materials provision installation with local support recruiting manpower training pending documents letter of appointment inauguration and then you are the speed force of your area so the entire i think you would have understood the entire thing during my previous talk itself you would have understood yeah let's uh, look that is the uh, five member team that is there right now the others you know uh, pandemic so this was uh, recently short and uh, the others are all uh, they were at their own place you know it's all a lot of senior citizens with us so moving out of one zone to other is a little problem but all of us have joined few of us have joined and we've taken this pick 
there you have Mr. Pranav Bhatt, uh, who's recently uh, uh, does the marketing effort. Then you have me, and then Nipin Bhai, you have Ashok sir, you have Kapil Bhai. So all of them on the uh, thing for taking care. And the main pillar of support beyond this, this is just the picture. And beyond this, we have Rangarajan sir, we have Kohli sir, we have um, Paul sir, uh, we have Vaidya sir. So these people are all there and without them, we are nowhere. So that's it. Thank you from my end. Uh